Chocolatiers is a 96-page long graphic novel written and drawn by Frank Valente. It's $24.99 and is available at the Chocolatiers website, which I will leave a link down below to. The story takes place in a place called Coco Kingdom. It's ruled by a guy named Colin Cordial, who was a former game show host and became the governor, of, or in his words, the king of the land. Even though Cordial calls himself a king, he is elected and his popularity is slipping. But he's just one of the many characters in this story. Much of the story covers these two dudes named Gilby and Wilcox. They're just two guys in their 20s working menial jobs, delivering pizzas and doing retail and trying to get their band to, to be a really big and successful. There are two friends named Muffin and Folly, and these girls have a cooking show, or they call it a cooking science show, which is broadcast on the internet, but they only have a handful of followers. Gilby and Muffin are a couple, and they're both very supportive of each other. And King Cordio is not the only celebrity turned monarch in this world. There's a guy called Baron Von Vanilla, who was also Cordial's co-host back in his Showtime days. Von Vanilla is still angry and bitter. Even though life is not bad for him, he still holds a grudge against Cordial, and he's plotting his revenge. Meanwhile, Cordial plans to try to boost his sagging popularity by backing a boy band. He figures that's the, the best way to grab the, the public's support. And they put all this analysis into how to construct a boy band, and it's, they've got it all down to a science. Meanwhile, Gilby and Wilco, and their drummer who's named Gobber, and who has this habit of speaking like he's an online moderator all the time, <laughs> they're just struggling and just anguishing about their lack of success. It's not until later in the book that they even find out about this contest for the boy band. Without giving too much away, there's so much goodness in between the happenings in this book. There's just a, a life being lived, and it just sucks you in. The dialogue is excellent, and you can tell that Valenti really has a skill for writing. I understand that he's also a stand-up comedian, and that, that just makes so much sense. The, the, the writing gift is definitely there. I mean, uh, uh, I just... You can just feel like you're just eavesdropping on people's lives and listen to conversations. It's just so, so realistic. One of my favorite running themes is the, the endless number of band names that they come up with and all the bands that, uh, that Gilby and his band um, have played with and, and opened for who are all of a sudden getting record contracts. And meanwhile, they're just, they're just being passed by. And it's just incredible how bad they are at delivering pizzas and they never get fired from the job. This looks like it's going to be a, maybe a three book set. And this first book is just the, the first of that three. As I mentioned, the writing is fantastic and his style that he's, choose to, he's chosen to draw this book in kind of reminds you of the Archer uh, animated TV show. It's got those thick lines. And it's got this very detailed world. There's just so much involved. There's just, he's got his own advertising. He has his, his own slang. It's like a curse word that they thought of and everything. It's just an entire world of anamorphic uh, characters that you totally just immerse yourself in. And it's, it's, it's totally fascinating. An incredible amount of work has gone into this project. You can tell. And if this isn't somehow developed for the screen, I would really be surprised. This I was reading this like it was definitely uh, an animated show as I was reading it. And I was putting voices and casting people for the roles as I was reading it. And that made it even that much more fun. Bill Oakley, the showrunner for The Simpsons, uh, gave it a nice uh, pull quote on the cover. And if this was a TV show... I would absolutely watch the hell out of this. This uh, Chocolatiers is excellent. So that's all for this Indie Comics Review Artist Alley edition. Thanks for stopping by. Be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button. And be sure to turn on notifications so you know when I'm making my next video. So until next time, see you guys in the funny papers. Hey!
Don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up.